going on guys it's brandon here for another video with breeders tips uh today we're going to discuss picking a vet so when you first start out with you know with dog breeding and, and, and building your uh program you want to the first thing you want to do is find you a vet that offers everything that you need from ai's to progesterone tests to ultrasounds to make sure they do c-sections make sure they do surgicals um and pick their brains a little bit if they're familiar with the breed, if they're familiar with breeding. Because some vets, you know, just because they're a vet doesn't mean they're very knowledgeable of breeding and, and knowing ovulation times and progesterone numbers and stuff like that. So you want to always ask questions and call around to different vet offices and ask questions and find out what they offer, what their prices are and stuff like that. Because all, all vet offices are different. So that's what I've learned from my experience. Um, I paid from anywhere from $80 for progesterone to $150 for progesterone because sometimes some vet offices don't have progesterone machines. So they what they have to do is draw the blood and then send it off somewhere over, you know, and then you won't get the results to the next day. So always be mindful of that and ask a lot of questions whenever, you know, calling vet offices, make sure they offer everything and everything's, you know, cost affordable for you for you and your program. You know, because vets can become very costly because, you know, it, it, this dog game is not, you know, it's not something that you can sit and, and, and sleep on, you know, because, I mean, anything could happen at any given time. So you want to always be able to know you have a decent relationship with your vet and your vet techs and stuff like that that you can call and they can get you in there quickly and, and take care of the issue. You know, my vet office, I have a pretty decent relationship with them. I can call them, ask them questions at any time. If they don't know the answer, they'll find out and get back with me and let me know, you know, anytime I really need to get my dogs in, if it's an emergency, they'll let me come right in and take care of me. So um, it's always important to build a relationship with your vet office. And, you know, especially if you're going to be doing dog breeding, you're going to be there quite often, especially if you have a lot of dogs. So always be mindful of that. And um, yeah, and another thing with the ovulation, you want to make sure. Your vet is very familiar with ovulating, you know, cycles, ovulation cycles, um, AIs, what the timing of AIs is very important. Timing of surgicals is very important. Make sure that they, they know what they're doing and that they've done it before. You also want to make sure that they also offer uh, drawing semen, shipping semen, receiving semen, know how to handle it. Make sure, just find out, ask a lot of questions. That's what you're going to do. It's like a job interview when you meet a vet. You need to ask a lot of questions. When I was, when I first got started, I called around to probably 10 vet offices asking all the vet offices, all the questions, all their prices, wrote everything down and compared. And then, you know, asked for referrals, going on Google, looked at the reviews. And my vet office is, you know, the one that I've been using for about two years now. has been the best vet office out of all the vet offices I've been to. I've been to, I think, four different ones so far in my area. I drive 30 minutes away over to Kentucky. I live in West Virginia. I drive about 30 minutes to Kentucky just to take my dogs to the vet because that is the best vet. They give me the best service. They always help me out. They always take care of me. They give me the best prices. So yeah, you just, that's that, that's a big thing. I feel like that a lot of people don't understand is, you know, people just go with any vet because, oh, it's close to me. Oh, it's just right up the road. There's like four vet offices in my area, like close to me, like within five, 10 minutes. I drive 30 minutes away, you know, across the bridge, to, across the border just to go to this vet because it's the best service is everything, you know, and and knowledge is everything to me. My my vet's been a breeder for years, so she knows how to do things and knows how to do everything that I need her to do. She offers everything that I needed to do. So that's a big thing for me. So. When you're becoming a dog breeder, you want to always have a good vet and a good vet office and and always have a decent relationship with them. I'm pretty sure I can message any of the vet techs outside of the office and ask questions and they'll answer me. You know, they stay in contact with me. I come in. Hey, Brandon, how you doing? When I call like, hey, Brandon, how you doing? All I got to say is my name. So just that's a big thing. I feel like I wanted to touch on today and uh, I appreciate you guys tuning into all these videos. I got a lot more content coming coming for you guys. So uh, stay tuned and I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe.